Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the vertex and the x-intercepts of, of this function, f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 1 fourth. So what I was writing up here before I started the video was the definition of a quadratic, which is f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And then also the standard form of a quadratic, which is a times x minus h squared plus k. So to find the vertex, it's very helpful to understand the standard, or the standard form because the vertex, when in standard form, is equal to h comma k. So right now, what I want to do is I want to look to how can I create my quadratic into standard form. So what I want to do for that is I'm going to want to use the process of completing the square. And the process of completing the square goes in a couple steps. First step, I always like to make sure it's in my, in my quadratic form. All right, sometimes we'll have it maybe rearranged. Always make sure they're in quadratic descending order. The next thing I do is make sure that my a, my coefficient of my squared variable, is equal to 1, which in this case it is. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to create this to be a perfect square trinomial. So to do that, I need to go over b divided by 2a and square it. So b in this version is not 2a, b divided by 2 squared. So here I have 3 divided by 2 squared, which gives me 9 fourths. So I have uh, x squared plus 3x plus 9 fourths. So I'm going to add my b divided by 2 squared to my first two terms. And I'm going to put them in parentheses. Then remember, if you add 9 fourths, you have to make sure that you're going to subtract it because we're dealing with an equation, right? So we got to make sure that it's always equal, always balanced. So if you add something on one side, we got to make sure we subtract it on that same side plus 1 fourth. So now I know this is a perfect square trinomial. It might not be as obvious to some of you that are looking at it, you're like, what, what is that perfect square trinomial? Remember, if we look at this, x squared plus 10x plus 25. All right, That's a perfect square trinomial because x plus 5 times x plus 5 is x plus 5 squared. So you can see that those are going to be your, uh, that's going to be your binomial squared. Now, what we have here is negative 9 fourths plus 1 fourth. I don't know what I'm talking about. Not that. So that's your binomial squared. I need to figure out what binomial squared is from this trinomial. Well, I can use my b divided by 2 to get my trinomial squared, which is end up going to be x plus 3 over 2 squared. And you can just check your work, see if that works. Does 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 equal 9 fourths? Yes, of course it does, right? That we figure that out by squaring it. Does 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 add to 3? Yes, it does. So then, then I have negative 9 fourths plus 1 fourth, which is a negative 8 over 4 which we know re reduces down to 2. All right. So now we have it in our vertex form. And we can determine, we can say, all right, well, this is going to be, uh, we can set this into, uh, set this as your vertex, where I could say my vertex in this problem is going to be the opposite of b, which is a negative 3 halves comma negative 2. And there he goes, your vertex. So the next thing we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is um, we want to find the x-intercepts. And remember, the x-intercepts are when f of x equals 0. So what I'm going to do is you could easily solve for 0 here and solve by completing the square. But I want to show you another step. You don't always have to solve with the rest of completing the square. You can also take a look by using the quadratic formula. So I could say 0 equals x squared plus 3x plus 1 fourth. So then to use the quadratic formula, I'll do opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So now when I plug in my terms, my b is 3. So I have negative 3 plus or minus b squared, which is going to be 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c. So 4 times a times c, which is 1 divided by 2 times a, which is 2. Uh, negative 9 divided by 1 is 8. The square root of 8 is going to be can be reduced down to 2 radical 2. So I have negative 3 plus or minus 2 radical 2 divided by 2. 
When I reduce, um, tr divide my 2 into both of those terms, I get a negative 3 halves plus or minus the square root of 2. So my x-intercepts are going to equal a negative 3 halves plus or minus the square root of 2. You could also get that exact same answer by solving this equation right here uh, for x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve. Hope it helped. Thanks.